Okay, welcome back to the wonderful city of Moss Deep. Who is calling me? You're interrupting my walkthrough. I only have like so much time to upload YouTube videos. Jeez. Anyway, today we will be exploring the wonderful route of Route 125. So what makes Route 125 so wonderful, you ask? Absolutely nothing. I just felt like saying wonderful. So, uh, let's see. Place is quite vast. Quite a few trainers you can fight. I'm gonna start off with this guy on this little island. Ahoy there. I'm a buff tough tra trailer. What? Wow, way to gibber your words up, Super Skarmory. Yeah, you're so rough and buff and tough. And you have a trailer, not a sailboat. That is why you fail at sailing. Okay, over here we have... Okay, thank you. You surrender. We are not fighting a war here. We are simply surfing the ocean blue. Lots of places you can build secret bases here. Although, of all the friends I ever linked up with, no one ever had any secret bases on the ocean. Double battle you might be interested in here. So they're gonna be talking about Shoal Cave and that would be right here. Now, I'm going to wait off on going in there because I want to finish exploring the route, but we'll come back to that. Over here, we have a battle. You. Hey, get back here. Uh, I would love to take on the water type Pokemon. Yes, I am the real deal. Um, I wish more people would realize that I'm the real deal. Um, if you're tired of swimming, maybe you should head to Moss Deep City. It's like two feet away. Love this. That actually brings up a pretty... I just told you, it's like two feet away south of here. Sheesh. Love Discs brings up a very good point. Uh, Love Discs, if you find them in the wild, sometimes they have hurt skills on them. If you have a Pokemon that has like Covet or Thief, you can steal them away. And that's kind of good if you're looking for uh, those heart skills. Let's see here. I'm gonna put Spark up there. You know, I'm gonna switch Spark and Mock Mushroom around. Perfect double team. Okay. Double battle here. Um, because you feel like coming out the sea. Or maybe you have a Wingo, I don't know. I assure you, I have no intention of throwing trash into the sea.
Um, sir, I found the person who threw that bottle in the ocean. You just fought by his side. I can call the authorities if you want. Quit interrupting me! I got a time limit here to follow. Sheesh! Um, I think there's only one battle left, and that is up this way. Who there? Your sweet Pokemon? Okay. Fail. Horrible fail. Okay, I'm going to head over to the Shoal Cave now. And I'm going to say a little prayer and please tell me the tide is down. Okay, I'm very happy. Uh, tide's low. Now there's low tide and high tide. It changes every six hours. This guy here is going to ask you to get shoal salt and shoal shells. If you can bring four of each, he'll make you a shell bell which restores hit points based on the damage you do. Now, the tide changes every six hours and you can only get shoal shells when the tide is high and you can only get shoal salt when the tide is low. But, in my opinion, I, I'm very happy the tide's low because there's more I can show you when the tide's low, and I don't want to like really do this twice. I'm very <laughs> picky about that kind of stuff. Uh, repels effect or off. Okay, I'm trying to remember my way through this place. Uh, for starters, I know if you come up here, this is a dead end. Dead end, woo. So head back and you can head over here. Now, if the tide is high, you can ex you'll can you be surfing around the place. You could obtain a big pearl and a rare candy. You can't do that when the tide is low. Now, if you come over here, you can grab some shoal salt. And leaving the cave and re-entering it will get you the item again. So you could just keep leaving and coming back in. So you could get many shell bells by doing this. Uh, you could grab an ice hill there. Come back up here. Get ready to cross the bridge. Thankfully, it's not a bridge of doom where trainers are fishermen who use Magikarps. Uh, come over here and head down here. Now, come down into this door here. You can grab some shoal salt there. It just seems so weird riding a bike in a place like this. I mean, does that seem weird to you, riding a bike in, like, a cave? I don't know, I just don't see that happening. Grab some shoal salt there, come back through the door. Now, coming over here, if you talk to this guy, this guy will talk about the cold, and he's going to give you a focus band. This is very rare item, and that will, uh, if I'm correct... A focus band will let you survive, occasionally survive faint with one hit point. Uh, I believe that's what it does. I might be off. Uh, you should have strength if the tide's low. That way you can push this boulder here because there's a little bit more exploring left to do. Come down here. Now, this is a very interesting room. This is the only room in all of Hoenn where you can catch a Pokemon Snow Run. Now, I actually did consider using Snow Runt for my walkthrough team. Um, that was before I had the vote for the six Pokemon. That was before I came up with that idea. But originally, I was going to use Snow Runt. Uh, that will, you have to kind of navigate around the ice. It's kind of tricky and complicated. If you follow what I do, though, you shouldn't be too hard. It's not an overly complex puzzle. You can grab some Never Melt Ice for that. Now remember, you can't change directions when you're on the ice. And the Never Melt Ice, for your information, uh, boosts power of ice type moves. Okay, I remember what I'm doing. To get through here, head there, head there, head there, head there, head there, there, there. Head up here, head up there. And then you can come down and grab yourself the TM-07 Hill. 
That is an evil move, and I only recommend it for ice types. Not that I, I think that only ice types can learn it anyway. Anyway, come back in six hours when the tide's high and grab yourself some shoal shells. I'm not going to show it because I don't feel like waiting six hours to continue filming. So, I will let that be up to you. Uh, you could, it's not that hard. It's just short exploring it's nothing I really need to show once you get all eight of those items you can come back to the guy he'll give you a shell, uh, a shell bill like I said good hold item for any Pokemon particularly the heavy damage stealers so that is it time to continue on